what's going on my people it's your boy miss a little back with another video and today we are unboxing some anson belts so stay tuned tell the fly to an ending with me take a ride come and vibe on the water and see yeah. and before we get into the video today guys make sure you are checking out my instagram almost at 15k i think i'm about 1500 followers away from 15k which is amazing i just started that page a little over a year ago so yeah i'm just super thankful for all the support thank you all if you are checking it out every time i mention it i really do appreciate it and to my current and new subscriber samurai bow and today guys we are unboxing some ants and bells now if you've never heard of them they are a company that specializes in holeless micro adjustable and interchangeable belts they have different types of fabrics they have different qualities of leather they have different buckles so if you want to use this leather with this buckle or this color with this buckle or this material with, with this type of buckle over here, you have the, the freedom to do that. Another great thing about these belts too is it's less wear and tear on your belt because you're sliding it between those micro adjustable indentations instead of using like a belt with the traditional loops, right? When you take it in and out, it's getting more and more worn in, it's getting more and more frizzy. So these are just all around great belts. I love them. I, I much prefer these to your traditional belts and I'm super excited to unbox these. So let's get to it. All right, guys, now I can't remember which ones are in here. So if I'm a little bit surprised, forgive me. Almost dropped it. I'm about to use these dollar store scissors. That pretty good right there though. So traditionally, I believe they usually send them in like a, a gift type of box where it like slides out and you have your belt, you have like three belts and two buckles or three buckles and two belts, whatever you got. But they actually sent this to me for me to try out. And because we have a great relationship, I've worked with them before uh, through Instagram. So I asked them to send me some out and they did. So this is how they sent them. But I'm pretty sure they put them in those really nice bags like they always do. So let's see. Stuck to the bottom. Okay, so they're all nice and wrapped up in here. Okay. Put this down for a second. Okay, boom. So these were those nice bags I was talking about. Um, really good material. I think this is like a microfiber, but super, super nice. Let me undo this and see what is the first one that we have. Come on. Okay, nice. I believe this is the, it's not Bordeaux. This is like a, um, a cognac. Con cognac colorway. This is the uh, 1.25 inch belt. Now, obviously you would just cut this to fit and I'll show you guys how to do that. I won't give you guys a full tutorial, but I already have a belt that's um, 1.25 inches in width. So I'll just put this up against it and cut it and then try it on. You guys can see how this looks. All right, let's dig into belt number dos. All right, so this one already has the buckle attached to it. This is the dark brown or chocolate. Now the 1.25 inches used for more formal wear. So like your trousers, your tuxedo, well, I wouldn't say tuxedo pants, but like your suit pants, even if you do like you have some nicer chinos, you would use the smaller width of a belt. Just gives it a sleeker, more classy look. And as you guys can see from, okay, this is my, this is my old 1.25 inch buckle. This is gonna be the new one I'll be using. Whoop, don't fall. This one has that kind of military buckle look which i think would be uh, a little more formal in some situations so excited for this one all right and we have two more in here oh yeah this one is gonna be really nice i got this one for a specific a specific specific a specific pair of shoes this is a 1.5 inch one so a little bit thicker this is more for like casual wear so just to give you guys a comparison of the color you can see how that would look right pair of jeans throwing a nice pair of oxfords that's a that's a perfect match right there so and the last one i'm going to be taking out is 
Oh, I might have messed this one up because, oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yo. It's like dust everywhere. Okay. And this is, and these two are actually very similar. Very, very similar. Okay. This is more like a natural uh, color leather. And this is, um, I don't know what to call this, uh, caramel maybe, but they're not the same exact color. And also I have the black buckle. This is what I'm most excited for. I'll show you how this looked with the black leather belt. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut two of these belts, the 1.25 and the 1.5. I'll show you how it looks and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so this one is my old 1.5 inch black leather Hanson belt. I had this probably for about five or six months. And then this is the new one that was just sent. So all I'm gonna do is match them up and then cut them to fit. So go down here, match those two up perfectly. And then go down to where you need to cut. Now you could mark this, me, I'll just keep it here and cut it because I'm lazy. Let's see how these dollar store scissors work. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, they're working so horribly. Oh gosh, this is so bad. It's like super frizzy. So normally they say burn the tips on these, which I'll probably do so it doesn't frizz. But yeah, there you go. Cut to fit, boom, boom, boom. And then, and then, and then, with this one, which is the new one, I can take that old Anson belt buckle, go ahead and pop it in here. Oh, there you go, boom. This is a new belt with the old buckle. And then what I'll do is I'll try my old 1.5 inch belt with this new buckle. Ooh, I like that already. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, guys, I don't wanna make this video too long. I was gonna cut the 1.25 inch one and show you guys that, but you get the gist. You get the belts in, you measure them out however long you want your excess fabric to be. You cut it to fit and then you add the buckle Shoop, 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 done. And that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you tuning in once again. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like down below. And also comment if you wanna try Anson Bells, if you have tried them, leave a comment down below. Once again, thanks for tuning in guys. And until next time, peace. Oh.